Welcome everyone to CK Ballyhoo's Corner, a new place here in Second Life by the artist CK Ballyhoo. Seems to be their own little uh, mainland plot here. Last time we saw anything from them was back uh, with Sea Reef Reef, which I think was back in 2018. And uh, CK Ballyhoo's uh, artwork is especially nice because a lot of it's done in a uh, watercolor. But we're going to go ahead and take a look around the uh, parcel plot here today. Which I'll probably have to look at my map a little bit just to make sure I stay in the borders, but uh, it's a nice little uh, spot here, I have to say. I get surrounded by a little bit of forest, I think, and then you have all the residents down below there, too. We even have a nice little uh, campfire set up here, too. Actually, it looks like there's quite a few uh, bridges and roads off of the uh, spot here. We got a campfire going here, though it doesn't look like it's quite resed up properly yet. Looks like we have a bit of artwork and uh, pictures off this way, though, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Eh, let me see, let me give it a few seconds. Okay, there we go. Looks like pictures here from uh, right here in Second Life, actually. Right now, we're actually underneath the art gallery. So I guess there's a bit of uh, art here underneath the art gallery as well. And this wall seems to be right up uh, against the borderline here. It looks like we have a little pet fox down here too, named Sneaky. Plenty of different pictures here. I, I think some of these are of... Uh, Different works. I think I see a couple like sick of ghosts in there too. And it looks like we have all the posters for the different artworks here. We've been to, I think, about half of these. So we've been to the haze. Been to Sea Creek Reef down there, though it's a bit blurry at the moment. Journey of Dreams to the left we've been to as well. Okay, there we go. Forest Beyond, we've been to that one, and the Watercolor Wanderer was the first one we've been to. Though I didn't quite go through Watercolor Wanderer the way I was supposed to, I <laughs> will say that. I think I went, I went through it like in reverse, I think, maybe? Here we go. Oh, these look nice. Looks to be port side, like in a marsh, maybe. Oh, and these are some nice black and white photos of a uh, looks like nature waterfall, and then we have a cityscape over here with the bridge. The one on the right actually looks like it's raining in it almost with the way it's styled. I got some nice little uh, glow balls up in the tree. Some sheep and a squirrel. Rabbit holding a lantern. Oh, we got a nice little view of a uh, tractor out in the field and a nice sky view and I think it looks like maybe a death scout sitting there. Herons. And then we have a few cell photos, I believe. A lot of nice scenic landscape shots. The one of the boats pretty much in the water. <laughs> Some nice architecture shots over here too. 
Oh, it looks like we have a shot of the haze there. The haze was really neat, I have to say. It had a fully voiced story, and it was just a surreal landscape to go through when I went through it. Alright, let's go ahead and head upstairs and see what holds for us up there. There we go. Now it's all texturized up. That's a nice detailed painting full on right there. The single leaf in the tree. Oh, I like that forest path. It's a really nice style of lighting there. It looks almost like a... I think I see a face in there. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, it's like leaves or hair, so maybe they're just wearing a crown of leaves. And someone's looking down at us. <laughs> Oh, is there like a little bridge here? Oh yeah, there is, okay. Oh. Yeah, I guess there would be a spot for the ladder. That's a nicely detailed picture there, and it has a little pathway through the forest as well. I see a space shuttle over there. Not what I was expecting when I looked at the window. It looks like this one's having a little bit of trouble here. Let's see if we can get it to... There we go. Yeah, this is a nice little uh, parcel spot to have, though. like the little waterfall here, that's pretty nice. Uh, I guess the bridge does kind of just end right there, though. But it is a nice... It is a nice uh, use of the little area that is here. And we also have this little uh, spot over here, which I think the uh, what is it, the wall or the fence is not uh, rising up properly here. I'm going to have to text refresh it, I think. Yeah, it looks like the ends of the uh, parcel are right here where this fence ends. Let's see if I can get it to show up properly. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit of a forest spot here. I believe there's supposed to be a fairy grove in here somewhere, so let's go ahead and take a look. We got another fox here. Yeah, we still have a little bit of ways to go. Oh, it looks like we may have found the fairy grove. Looks like there's a, uh... I don't know if that's an elf or maybe a leprechaun standing there. They got the magic bottle. <laughs> I 
That's a nice little lounging spot here. Got a nice little, uh... Don't know if you call this a tent, maybe? Let's go ahead and take a look inside this other building, though. And then we'll look at the exhibits that, uh... CK has up. Because those are by the sign. There's two of them, as far as I know, from the uh, note card that I got. A nice little patio. But yeah, I'm happy to see them still doing work here in uh, Second Life. For a while there, it was uh, Radio Silence after Sea Cree Reef and the whole region that they had went down. I think this must be like the their actual home. And we got a little steampunk uh, Christmas tree here. Let's see what's upstairs. And we got a little uh, bookcase and a seat right next to a furnace. Looks like we have books of uh, Journey of Dreams and The Force Beyond from what I can see. Let's see if we can get this to ungray. thing about memories is making them and this thing does not seem to want to uh, ungray I think it may be a slideshow which I tend to have trouble with those as they will go through textures rather quickly and they never quite res up it looks like we have another uh, set here of pictures and a little uh, closet here too huh you don't see many homes come with closets like this anymore We got a little, uh, got a little trophy here. It looks like a fishing trophy. Biggest catch total. Yeah, it looks like we have a whole photo wall here that's made up to look like a uh, Christmas tree, almost. That's pretty neat. I didn't, I can't, didn't think of that idea before. Make a uh, picture wall up to be a Christmas tree like that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and look at the exhibits now, which is... Uh, CK's Knights and CK's Blues. And we have the Haze here as well. And the Haze was a full on uh, art exhibit that was done a couple of years back. And it was quite, quite amazing to go through. I'm pretty happy there is a uh, little thing here for it. Because compared to the other ones that I went through, which were more about dreams, the Haze was more about uh, nightmares. And so it had a very different look and feel compared to the ones that were just about uh, dreaming. And we even have like pictures and stuff here of the original art exhibit, it looks like. You can tell by its names that it did have the uh, haze, like the fog, around the entire uh, sim. And everything kind of looked more... Uh, Wastelandish. It looks like the entire story is uh, laid out here. Which is pretty nice.
Yeah, it looks like they have the entire, uh, I think this is actually like a, like the bookcase we saw earlier with the, uh, the other, uh, books on it for the other two exhibits, uh, The Forest Beyond and The Journey of Dreams. I think this is probably similar, but it's been, uh, blown up to be able to put in the gallery here. So that's kind of neat that they've done actual books on everything on their exhibits like that. I'm trying to remember. I think the haze was the one right before Secret Reef. So I'm thinking the haze was probably 2017. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, CK's night next. Oh, this is pretty. Reminds me a bit of the uh, the forest beyond. And we got some nice watercolor paintings around too of different uh, things. I guess they're paintings of things that are laying about in the uh, exhibit here. So that's a neat reference. And we got uh, watercolor butterflies. Little glow balls all around. I do remember this mushroom, mushroom guy. We got a little Fay here too. It says they aren't quite just butterflies. <laughs> well, this is a really nice picture too. It's got a full on background of the uh Fay, the forest, and the uh Yeah, this is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, blues now and see how this goes. Right, here we go. This one looks like it's more of a uh, marshy environment. Just by going off the walls. It looks like we have a little bit of an art gallery in here, inside the building. And I guess the paintings is, uh... Referencing the music blues? I wasn't quite sure when I got in here what the blues was going to mean. But that does appear to be correct. All about the vibe. It's a nice little art gallery, too. This is really nice, though, and I'm happy to see that another uh, prominent artist in Second Life is back. In any case, this was uh, C.K. Balahu's Corner. I hope you guys enjoyed this little visit, and I will see you guys next time. So, see you then.